What's up guys? Uh, it's been um, quite some time uh, since I made a video. So figured uh, since I got done a little early today, I'd make one. We're still planning. It's been, I don't know, two, three plus weeks, maybe four since I was uh, playing on this safe game. Anyways, we're planning uh, Sunflower using course play. Planning at dark uh, using our GPS. So in our 24 row DB60, and then we have this guy is finishing up. Milo uh, with their uh, T9 450. Uh, this used to be an alfalfa field, uh, that, but we decided to uh, plow it up, and now we're planting um, uh, a Milo. This is our first first season planting Milo, and this is the first time this field's been anything other than alfalfa. We managed to get three or four, like three and a half seasons of alfalfa off of this, off of this field after uh, seeding once, so about time to go ahead and replace it. on our indoor cam or uh, indoor cabin lights uh, pretty much finished up my 4440 Patriot sprayer as well started that that model uh, back in early March I think that's when I first started working on the frame <clears throat> and that one's pretty much finished I just have to add in um, I have the door and ladder and all, everything. I just need to finish up the steering wheel, armrest, uh, light IC, and then I want to add in, uh, it has calf suspension, but I want the seat to bounce as well. But everything else is, the hoses are scripted, the cylinders are scripted, the booms are, everything's scripted, mouse controlled. Um, runs really well, has the indoor sound, so it's a little bit quieter, uh, a little bit more enjoyable spraying. Um, so that's pretty much the only thing I've been working on. Uh, Raphael's in the middle of uh, making a 13 shank uh, E. Colo, and then after that, uh, probably a 64 foot uh, Nutri placer for uh, NH3 bar. Otherwise, on this map, uh, we have all of our soil management done pretty much, and we're just trying to hammer out our planting. We're about halfway done with all of our planting. Uh, uh, we're getting pretty close to it. Probably have another day, full day of planting to go. 
Uh, this one, this planter, I believe, is rented. The other one we purchased. Um, so we actually own a planter now. And then we're going to be able to make some videos of the 4440 um, spraying herbicide and um, stuff like that. So should be should be interesting uh, to see how that performs. I notice like people are giving me uh, crap for testing mods on Westbridge. I mean, I don't know why it's such a weird thing. I mean, it makes perfect sense to me. I mean, if you're testing a new mod, you want to make sure you're playing on a map that has no errors. So, I mean, it's the logical thing to do. I don't know why it's weird or funny or whatever. People are stupid, I guess. But that's, I, I use Westbridge to test and do all of my hand games just so I know the map is not interfering with anything if there's an issue it's if it's with the uh, mod itself because sometimes you never know when you're adding in LUA files you can get some weird conflicts you can get conflicts of input bindings like this map uh, my wind chaser map has I don't know probably eight nine different LUA files in it, so there's a lot of things that can affect the performance of in gaming. So that's why I do that. As if it wasn't obvious. Now it should be perfectly clear. What else is going on around here? Oh, then uh, we bought, uh, we actually bought this. We bought uh, the T7 uh, 235. This is our alfalfa workhorse. Um, mower is a little weird. And then we bought ourselves a merger. And we had a baler for a while. Uh, so now we're fully... Uh, uh, we have all of our armamentarium, all of our gear for alfalfa production. And then we bought a uh, semi-flat deck, or drop deck, step deck, um, trailer uh, for the semi instead of, not, uh, because we're going to be hauling a lot more bales than, um, than our Silverado uh, 3500 should probably handle. Um, the only thing we don't have is a bale collector, and I really do like that 16 the in-game the European one because it it holds 16 bales which is nice because it's four four is divisible into 16 so it makes stacking a lot easier than the other smaller one which holds I think it holds 12 which then is three stacks high so you get you're you're losing a bale height using that stacker and it I don't know I like to stack my bales four high in the trailer instead of three then over in our main shop we have uh, our two 990s uh, they're getting up there in hours um, and then the T97s uh, we have this one this is the one we had for a season and it's already got plenty of hours on it. This is our new one we bought this season uh, with the real tree camel. So these guys will take turns. That guy in the back ran the grain cart last season. So this guy will run it this season just so we don't, we balance out the hours. And then um, we have our Kinsey 1500 grain cart. This thing uh, does amazing, does an amazing job. Um, um, out in the field, uh, corn keeps up with corn pretty well. We have our land really here, the 85 foot. Um, really enjoy using this too. Um, haven't used it recently though. 
Then we got our, uh, we owned four 36 foot Wilsons. Um, works really well uh, for great demands and course play. So I'm really happy that course play works with dual trailers. And then um, we also, uh, we had the 2634 a season. And uh, this season we bought the 2730. Um, and then obviously we have our DN 345 over here. And that comes in handy for broadcasting all the dry nutrients and stuff like that. Um, anyways, if you guys haven't been around a while, you'd notice that I released several of these mods. I released uh, both these tillage tools. Um, best in game you can't get any better than these two uh, for tillage plow and cultivator and then obviously my great plains and coon kraus i don't use them anymore just because they're not as nice but um it's nice to have a uh, field cultivator and i released the wilson pack and i we released my both of my land rollers um here's a step deck i was talking about I released the wilson then we have our CT660 hooked up to our easy to load. Uh, Thunder Creek. Um, yeah, so. This guy should still be going to town. Doing quite a bit of work over here. So this is our 3500 hooked up to our Meridian. Uh, it's all dirty in the mud right now. But we're just, uh, uh, the sunflower, sunflower goes quick. And then um, up there is the uh, modern bee farm that you can see. Has the lights, uh, lights on in the sheds. Some trees up here. Um, Anyways, it's kind of dark, so I'll probably finish up as much planning as I can. And then next video, maybe another planning video in the morning. Or uh, maybe a sprayer video after that. So, thanks for watching.